This is Karen Ramsey. I'd like to tell you today about food cravings. Are you interested in overcoming your food cravings? Well, I'm going to give you today three important tips to overcome them. Number one is eat enough to get in your calories. Many people who are coming to a raw vegan lifestyle, they often do not get in enough calories, especially if they're coming from a more mainstream animal food or even vegan lifestyle. Because if you're eating meat, let's say that you're having a plate of chicken and potatoes, you're always having something that's relatively small on one plate. But when you come to a lower fat, raw vegan lifestyle, you are going to need to eat more in the way of fruit to get your calories. That is what happened to me early on. When I transitioned from a vegan lifestyle where I was eating a lot of processed food and a lot of beans, getting more calories that way in a smaller plate. And when I transitioned, I didn't realize I needed to get more calories from fruit and I wasn't eating a big enough portion. My second tip is about getting enough nutrients, getting enough nutrition by eating more in variety. When I used to take my children to the store, to the farmer's market, I would tell them to pick a fruit or vegetable for every color of the rainbow. And that way they would get the variety of nutrients in all the different plant foods. So that's tip number two. My third and last tip for today, and this may be the most important one, to not spend hours not eating. Because if you are not eating for many hours, you are more likely to go with food cravings that will bring you to foods that are not nutritious. So you wanna make sure that you plan your day appropriately and that you are not waiting many hours, even if you're working, you still want to work into your day a time or appropriate times where you have regular eating. It shouldn't mean that you're eating when you're not hungry, but if you plan appropriately, you will get to know your own body and what your needs are for how often you want to eat, whether it's two large meals a day or three meals or even five smaller meals, you will have an idea of when to eat. Because if you go for the entire day not eating, the chances are that then you will get home or even if you're in your own home, you will all of a sudden be eating foods that you did not mean to eat. Those are my three major tips for overcoming food cravings. I hope that they were helpful to you. If you are looking for a really wonderful Facebook group on plant foods, weight loss, hormonal and gut health, go to the description below to click on the link to join me and others in that Facebook group and join us on Facebook Lives, ask questions, get answers to all of your problems within hormonal and gut health. And I'll see you on the next video.